Why are devil and manta rays at risk? Exceptionally few offspring make the devil ray one of the most valuable animals in our ocean. Yet controls on fishing and trade are lacking as demand for their gill plates grows. Mobolid rays are easy targets. They move through the ocean, often near the surface, in predictable aggregations. Despite several conservation commitments and international mandates, very few countries ban or even limit devil ray fishing. Although targeted in some countries, mobullids can be taken incidentally in fisheries targeting other species, like tuna. Between 2000 and 2007, giant manta ray catches reported to the Food Agriculture Organization of the United Nation nearly quadrupled. Demand for mobullid gill plates, the tight-knit, feathery structures these filter feeders use to strain plankton, is rising. Used in a Chinese health tonic, this has created a greater incentive to fish these vulnerable species. And it's profitable, with even small gill plates fetching $133 per kilogram. Other threats to devil and manta rays include marine debris and boat strikes. More recently, populations in the Indian Ocean, Eastern Pacific, West of Africa and Indonesia have declined dramatically by up to 99%. According to the IUCN Red List, the 11 devil and manta ray species face different risks of extinctions. Some are endangered. Some are vulnerable. Some are near threatened. And some are data deficient, meaning there is not enough data available to assess the conservation status of those rays. We need countries to make and live up to international commitments to prevent overfishing, enforce international trade controls and reduce demand for gill plates globally. Local economies can benefit too. Manta and devil rays are worth more alive than dead, with a single manta worth a million dollars in tourism, versus as little as $150 to a fishery. Snorkel or dive with the mobilids. Share your experience and love for rays with your friends. Follow codes of conduct intended to protect rays. Speak out for the rays. Urge the country where you live or dive to enforce national protections and support global trade controls. Be a debris activist. Support policy change to prevent marine debris. Find out more at projectaware.org.